Hosted by Riza. Hi kids, welcome to another episode of Game Review by Rika. Today, I am very excited to review another game from Eleanor Wonders Why. Looks like we will be taking another course in nature this time with Eleanor's friend Emily. Let's start the game and learn more about the backyard life. Hmm, I wonder what lives here. A bunch of stuff, Let's take a closer look in the plants and see what we discover. Sure. Let's zoom in and see what we can discover. Looks like we need to do some pest control in this backyard. Wow! There are so many plants and animals living together in this habitat. Definitely a lot of living Let's things in here. Let's make a habitat here. of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to your habitat. Alright, this type of gameplay feels very similar to a previous Eleanor game that I have reviewed. Let's keep going! Plants! Flowers! Now we can choose a plant to add. You can always use my book to learn more information. So basically I will select an item from the menu on the bottom, then place it on the screen. That is the overall game play. Flowers have Let a me continue juice on inside and populate nectar. this backyard with plants and animals. animals. will drink it. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Alright, let's move on. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm. Leaf cutter ant. I don't like worm, so let's pick the ant. I guess I can place a few more ants on the screen. Ants live in large groups. They work together to collect leaves to take back to their nests. I notice each time we add to the habitat, new plants and animals can live there. Snail. Bark centipede. No thanks for the centipede. I will pick the snail. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Probably bigger insects. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Ladybug larva. Oak tree hopper. Oh yes, I like ladybugs. Let's pick the lava so it can grow into the ladybug later. These are larva, or baby ladybugs. How will they need to change to be adult ladybugs? We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. Alright. Let's take a closer look at the ladybug I lava. I ladybug larva has a long, bumpy body. What do you notice? I don't really like looking at it. I just want to zoom back out. Two-striped grasshopper. Praying mantis nymph. I liked both of them, but I could only pick one for now. Let's click on the grasshopper. Grasshoppers get around by jumping and flying. I wonder what other ways bugs can move around. Let's see what we have here. Oak tree hopper. Praying mantis nymph. Yes, I can pick the mantis. I think those are so cool. Especially this the forearm and how it grabs onto things. a baby praying mantis. I wonder how it will change as it grows. It will get bigger and more awesome. This is the adult mantis. It looks similar to when it was a nymph. But now it has wings. I never knew that mantis can fly. That is pretty cool. Let's keep exploring. Monarch Caterpillar. Swallowtail Caterpillar. Let's pick the Monarch Caterpillar. I think it turns into Butterfly. Caterpillars are the baby form of butterflies. I wonder what colors and patterns this butterfly will have. I think I know how it will look like when it turns. Honeybee. But let's keep going Yellow and see what else wasp. we can put in here. Bees. For some reasons I don't like bee because they sting. Honeybees tell each other where food is in a special way. They do something called a waggle dance with their bodies. 
That is good to know. Swallowtail caterpillar. Yellow jacket wasp. Picking the wasp. Skipping the caterpillar. Wasps live in groups called colonies. Okay, good to know. The ladybug is now an adult. It has a red shell with spots on it. Yes, they have grown into ladybugs. Oh, wow. Great job. This is so interesting. Let's keep going. I wonder what we'll find. Bumblebee. Ruby-throated hummingbird. It's time to move away from insects. Let's pick the hummingbird. The ruby-throated hummingbird is a small bird that flaps its wings very fast. It can fly around from spot to spot very quickly. Could we add some more animals to this? American robin. Loggerhead shrike. Looks like we can add more birds to the backyard. The shrike Let's bird do gets it. its food by sitting up high, spotting it, and quickly diving down to catch it. Works just like an eagle. We finished our habitat. I love nature. Let's keep exploring. You can keep exploring or you can make another habitat. Do you want to start a new habitat? I think this is the end of the game. Overall, my backyard looks pretty good, right? Let's go to the review and see how many stars I will give this game. Here is my review of the Eleanor Backyard Life game. For the fun factor, I am giving it just one star. Overall, the game is not really that much fun to play. It is more of a click and paste type of game. Not much actions or fun stuff that you can do to it. For difficulty, I am giving it just one star. The game is easy to play and you cannot really fail to do anything in it. For educational value, I am giving it 3 stars. The game does a great job on showing the player how the nature is built upon each other. There are descriptions of things that are easy to understand, and in a kids friendly presentable way, I give credit where credit is due, and this game delivers. Overall, although the game is a bit boring, it does have great educational value. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked my review. Please remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon when you check out my other videos. Goodbye.